Hi guys, Foo from Fox Tech, and this is Darren from America, and he will assist me in the future videos. And today I bring everybody the Fox Tech K130 version 2 right here. Yeah. And then this one has a lot of new features uh, compared with our first version. And this one has a new motor, new ESC, and a new landing gear, and almost everything was changed. And this is a better machine. And uh, we are going to talk about the details one by one to you. Mm. Okay, first I say, I think it we has have a folding, folding arm. Yep, yeah, we have one more arm to put up, I think. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, one more here. Yeah. Use this kind of locking system, you can lock it quite tightly. It's very unlikely to get loose in the air. It torques up really tight. Yeah, yeah, you take a lot of rotations to, to tighten it up. Yeah, so see, hey, the motor, motor is different. Motor. And uh, we used the uh, 50-20 motors on, it, on this one, because this one has the higher KV value. It's an air-cooled motor, right? They got the yeah, of course. Self-cooling. Self-cooling. The air goes into from the button and it goes out from this slot right here. So you have very uh, low working temperature on this kind of motor. And also the KV value is different. The KV value is the 380. 380. Uh -huh. And uh, on the early version, it's only like 280. So this one spins the propeller faster. It has more power and the tested lifting capacity on each one uh, compared uh, to working with this 18-inch uh, propeller is 5.5 kilo. This is a lot of power. On the early version, it was only 3.5 kilo. It's mm -hmm. a lot different, almost a 40% yeah. uh, difference. Okay, this is the propeller it used. Yeah, that's the 18-inch. Yeah, 18-inch. 18-inch. And, and it can also do a 17-inch. Uh, you can do that 17 inch makes a mm, fly more stable but uh, you lose some efficiency mm. and the biggest propeller you can use on this octocopter is 18 inch and the 18 inch here I'm going to show you the Fox Tech Supreme 1865 propeller it's a very optimized propeller with a very high efficiency also the propeller has a very light weight and a good shape because it's made of only one layer of carbon fiber mm -hmm. and the filled in compound inside, so you cannot press it. Yeah. And also the springs, the steep, very strong. Oh, very strong, very, very good. And so it's not in that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, also we, what we change is the ESC, because we use a bigger motor, right? So the, yeah, you got a bigger motor, so you need a different ESC. Yeah, the ESC is the 18.5 amp ESC. Ah. Yeah, because, not because we are going to need 18.5 amp on each motor, but with the bigger ESC, you can have a cooler working temperature on the ESC because you mount ESC right here. Uh -huh. And uh, the other option is to mount ESC right here under the motor, so you get enough cooling. But it doesn't look so good at this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, if uh, with a dome, if the cover here, uh, everything, the wires, yes, they are covered, so it looks very neat. And aerodynamically yeah. better also. Yeah, sure, sure, you got it. Mm -hmm. So the landing gear looks different also. Yeah, landing gear is also different. And the first version, we used, actually used a 6mm steel bar in the middle, but it doesn't have enough, uh, say, strings. Mm -hmm. And this one, you see here, is made of uh, a whole part of aluminum. This is a very strong part, and uh, with the, this big outcopter and uh, with a certain uh, load, the total weight can maybe reach 20 kilo, even more than that. You don't want it break. Yeah, you don't so, want to break. Yeah. yeah, with the new landing gear, the taking off, the the and also landing is more stable because you can you can feel mm -hmm. you can feel it's a very 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 stable. And uh, what's the biggest benefit of all? You can have a very good. Space. Yeah, much higher. Much yeah, higher. it's uh, much higher than, than other helicopters. So, uh, in case you leave a big camera about this big, like a BMCC Red mm -hmm. IP right here, is mm -hmm. about this big, with the it's gimbal. And you also need a damper place right here. Mm -hmm. So, this space is quite enough for leaving those cameras. You have a good damper plate already in here. Yeah, there's a beauty in damper plate right here, supposed to by eight. Uh, damper uh, screws right here, but uh, actually uh, it's for loading heavy weight. If you load a very light weight, it doesn't work uh -huh. because it's uh, so strong. Uh, we have put the flight control the MU on it, uh -huh. so uh, if it's very loud, uh, the flight performance can be mm, 
a nightmare. Mm -hmm. So we make the just uh, use the, the damper rubber screws right here. So it's uh, kind of stiff. And uh, because if you want to go in to lift the camera, yes. the camera has its own damper plate. So uh, it, uh, with the big camera, it's about this big. Mm -hmm. It's uh, quite, quite good. I see some hooks too. What are the hooks going <laughs> to be? Hook, uh, this is the fan test, actually, a fan part we make. Uh, actually, this one is for lifting a DJI Phantom. You know, DJI Phantom has the, the altitude limitation, limitation yeah, five, five millimeters. Mm. So, uh, what's the way to break that limitation? That we think about one way that uh, we use a four mm. four servo controlled hook right here, and then you can put the DJI Phantom right inside and uh, lock it. Mm -hmm. Launch it from like uh, 200 meters. So you take uh, the octocopter up to 200 meters. And what does the what does the uh, other device show on its altitude? Uh, it shows like mm, zero. 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 If yes. you if you don't active, if you don't turn turn on the phantom, it's uh, still zero. So on the 200 altitude, I launch it. It will show zero, and it can go up to 700 meters actually. But if you land, you can see the negative <laughs> numbers go up. It's going into the ground, kind of worrisome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is a fan test actually. This is a professional machine that is going to lift a very professional cameras. And also, uh, one of our customers uh, used the first version of this version as a crop sprayer. Mm. They add in some nozzles and the drug can under so they can uh, spray the crops. Mm. Yeah, it's very, very, very nice. You mentioned camera. Doesn't the landing gear get in the way of the camera? Of the course view? not. The listening gear are automatic landing gear, automatic folding. You also one channel on your radio, you can uh, control this part to go up to, to unfold, oh, so to it forward, and it become a horizontal level. So it doesn't block any view of your, your camera. Okay. So you got 360 degree view, no problem. Yes, yeah, so with the 3x gimbal, you can do it in that case. Okay. Yeah. So the flying time is how long with the, with the maximum weight? Uh, seeing the maximum, uh, because we mentioned uh, it's a 5.5 mm -hmm. kilo on each motor, so in theory it can has a flying weight up to 44 kilo, but uh, mm -hmm. we are living in real life, yeah, don't do we that. make it a 50% 50, <laughs> 50 discount, yeah. so it's almost 20 kilo or 22 kilo, so uh, the, the frame, the everything with the battery with the two 22,006 as battery, uh, total weight is around uh, 12 or 13 kilo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you still can lift uh, mm, 7, 8 kilo under it without any problem. But with that load and that battery, you can fly around 20 minutes without any problem. But uh, with a lighter weight, like uh, you can lift a small camera, small gimbal, which is around maybe 2 kilo, you can fly maybe 30 minutes yeah, much with that battery. And, but I, I think this one is more suitable for high load because high the load. motors are, are big. It's a design that way. If you want to load just a GoPro, mm -hmm. you can use a smaller motor that's right, that's so right. the weight can be less. Yeah. So you mentioned about the motors and you mentioned about the weight. What about safety? If one of these motors fails, what happens? Nothing. That's the whole there because the, the motors has a very good redundancy. Saying is that each motor can generate 5.5, but we only use a 50 you of its a power. safety margin. Yeah, safety margin. If one motor hold, uh, one motor fails, the two motors right here will take its place. So the ESC will automatically speed them up, or yeah, we will speed them, speed them up to compensate the the weight, the balance. So it's actually very safe. Uh, you can lose maybe this motor and maybe this motor at the same time, and this is the benefit and the safety of an octocopter. It's okay. very safe. Spread the load across. Yeah, and we, and we also prepared a parachute for it. In the future, we will have a big parachute mounted right here, okay. and uh, if, say, every motor fails, you can open that parachute, and you can still protect your equipment. That's good, that's yeah. good, yeah, because some of that equipment can be pretty expensive. <laughs> Maybe a million dollars, who knows? Very, very expensive cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also seeing the structure, the body of this octocopter is very strong. You can you cannot 
say bended or maybe deforming and it's very strong. Yeah, you have a lot of strength here, but you've purposely designed these parts to take the break. Of course, it's a part and saying we are using a big motor, right? So the motor mounting plate right here is a three millimeter thick. Mm -hmm. It's a quite strong carbon fiber one. And what's under is also the very strong motor mounting aluminum seat. It's made of a whole part of aluminum, so it can take a lot of torque mm -hmm. or load. So once you crash, you break your propeller, or even worse, you break your carbon fiber tube, but this one, our cheaper compared with those motor. Yeah, they, replace uh, the. Yeah, mm -hmm. this uh, can be easily replaced. No crashing. No crashing. <laughs> Don't want any no, crashing. No crashing. This is very, yeah. actually, very, very safe machine that you can not easily crash it. I hope so. <laughs> of course. And talking about the landing gear and the landing gear safety, mm -hmm. uh, we use the 16 millimeter carbon fiber tube right here to replace the former version 12 millimeter. Mm -hmm. So, uh, because it's a heavy machine, and once if you did a unsuccessful landing like like this yeah, one, the corner torque, yeah, yeah it take it's more torque than the in the early version. But if this is a truly bad landing, you can break this tube. But this one is also a, a cheaper component. You can easily just uh, change it. Yeah, your tube might break here. You might break a couple of propellers here. But the propellers are also designed to break. Yeah, the propeller is uh, made of uh, very light carbon fiber uh, clothes and also carbon inside. It's very light and it can also protect your motor mm -hmm. uh, under a crash. If you if it doesn't crash, it's like it still makes things. Mm -hmm. you, you, you break your motor, you break, you make this one deform. Yeah, you don't want to do that. The, yeah, the bearing is uh, very, very hard, it's very expensive and also very hard to, to change the bearing. Yeah. And similar things, you have to buy the whole new motor again. Nobody wants to do that. Yeah, sure. So propeller is a cheaper way to go. Yeah, sure. Definitely. Yeah, flight control here. Oh yeah, there's something about the, the GPS-1 and you can have a second GPS, right? Is that? Oh, this is called a redundancy GPS. Mm -hmm. Not happening on DJI A2 that we are using now, but it happens on the Zero Tech Gemini and also the Pix Hawk. Mm -hmm. uh, these are about the flight control options I'm going to talk about. Mm -hmm. The flight controls, because this is a very professional machine, so on um, this one we currently choose the DJI A2 a flight control. It has a big GPS, and we can also use the Gemini. Uh, the Gemini from Zero Tech. It has uh, two MUs and two GPS right here. So if one fails, another takes, takes place. Over. Yeah, takes yeah. over. So about the Pixhawk, it's the maybe the best open source the flight control. Mm. And you can also use the two GPS. It's one GPS, say it's uh, it's broken mm -hmm. in the air. You can have a redundancy. So that's the, the two. The latter two ways are are, are safer compared with uh, only one GPS. And Two GPS a parachute makes it a very safe machine. Yeah, you can. So this, with the one GPS in the future version, it'll be able to hover or hold. Yeah, of course, of course. It just read data from one GPS uh, composite model right here. So with the early version, we uh, sold actually a uh, lot to our customers, and it's widely used among our customers in, uh, for example, the Discovery Channel, mm -hmm. the Hollywood. They also use it. So I I expect the upgrade version, the version two, yeah, can give one. a customer better experience and uh, better safety, and also you can lift a higher heavier weight. Uh, without spending too much money on the new motor ESC because we offer those uh, power system, new power system mm -hmm. at a quite cost effective price. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The uh, version 1 could lift how much, version 2 can lift how much? Uh, on the version 1 you can lift a 5 kilo and uh, we did a test that 16 kilo flying weight is the maximum for version 1. It's still equipped with uh, the 5010 motor. But uh, on version 2, you use the 5020 kilo, uh, 5020 motor. You can have a 8 kilo or even 10 kilo lifting weight. It's um, almost double compared with the version 1. So version 2 is the way to go, right? But you always leave a safety margin of at least 50% to be safe. Yeah, 50%, of course. Yeah, because yeah. each motor can have a 5.5 kilo lifting power, but we only use the half of it. So it has a big, a very big safety margin. That's a better way to go. Yeah. 
So here we have the K130, the, the K130 version two, version two, the new version, and it's selling right now. So you can place your orders and um, enjoy the new efficiencies and the new safety margins and everything else that are built into the product. Yeah, that's true. And also remember, if you like our video and your channel, don't forget to subscribe us. And thank you, and uh, have a nice day. So why did they use them on our users and they love it. And uh, I think the version 2 can bring them more safety, more power, and a better experience. More efficiency as well? More efficiency, of course, mm -hmm. uh, comparing about the weight if you lift a 500 kilo weight. Sorry. We, five kilo, you, five kilo. Let's get 500 kilos on there. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm not 500 kilos yet. I'm working on that. Yeah. But, so if this, this can, yeah, yeah. how how many motors would we need for 500 kilos? A lot. A lot. A lot. That's too expensive. Let's, okay, let's stick with. Let, let's stick with. Uh, you can go with this. Let's stick with 15 kilos, maybe eight kilos. Mm, 80 kilos. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. Eight or eighty? Eighty. Eighty. You need like. Uh, yeah, you're gonna need like ten. This uh, big motors. I think I'm ninety kilos. Yeah, uh, ninety kilos. I think I'm ninety. Ten motors right, are yeah. quite enough. We have a motor which can generate a fifteen kilo each. Fifteen kilos uh, each. So ten is enough. It's okay. the frame weight, you know. Uh, yeah. yeah.